Yeah, well, Barry and I are back out here today searching my honey hole. Found a buffalo. Give it a little beauty mark across his face there. No date. Good clean coin though. Ground's still pretty dry. We had a lot of rain this morning, but it's still dry. Well, I found another buffalo. This one's got a date on it, 1937. Dug a few uh, crown caps and a few pool tabs. This is the second nickel I've dug and both of them were buffaloes. Well guys, here's what I found for the week. Not a great week, not a bad week either. Barry and I made it out Tuesday night or Wednesday night. I can't remember which day it was, but I ended up finding two Jefferson nickels, two Washington quarters, and uh, one Zinkin, two copper memorials, I don't know, some kind of a rivet. I found one wheat penny, 19, I think it was a 1940, 1940 wheat cent, and found two buffalo nickels. And over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I went on a little family camping trip. And I was, had more high hopes for the place. It was private campgrounds, had a beach, volleyball, the works. Didn't find much there either. One Washington quarter, one dime, a few penny or a few nickels, a little pile of pennies. Most of them Zinkins. Some of them's real crusty from the beach. Real crusty. But I thought maybe I'd show you guys these buffaloes here. I cleaned one and I didn't clean the other. Just so you could see the difference. That's a no date buffalo that I cleaned. The other one's a 1937. I don't think I'd recommend it for any high dollar coins. But I just used triple lot steel wool with a little bit of uh, dish soap for lubrication basically to make it work better and just scrubbed it with triple lot steel wool come out pretty good but you can see the difference in them big difference but that's my tip for the week here on how to clean buffaloes you can use it or not use it it's up to you but that's what I found for the week. Hopefully I'll get back out a little more this week. But thanks for watching and happy hunting. I'll see you next time.